Have you ever wondered how ancient wisdom can guide us in our modern lives? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of chakras. These intricate energy centers nestled within us have been a topic of intrigue and study for thousands of years. Originating from the ancient Indian spiritual traditions, the concept of chakras has transcended boundaries and cultures, finding a place in our contemporary lexicon. But what exactly are these chakras, and why are they so significant? In essence, chakras are believed to be spinning wheels of energy that align along our spine, each one vibrating at a different frequency and governing various aspects of our physical and emotional well-being. In this modern age, amidst the hustle and bustle, we often neglect our inner selves. The understanding and balancing of these chakras can be a pathway to inner peace and harmony. So join us on this enlightening journey as we unravel the mysteries of chakras. The concept of chakras originates from ancient Indian spiritual traditions. This is where our journey begins, in the rich tapestry of spiritual wisdom that is as old as civilization itself. The term chakra, derived from the Sanskrit word for wheel or disc, first appeared in the Vedas, sacred texts of Hinduism that date back to as early as 1500 BCE. These ancient scriptures hint at the existence of spiritual energy centers within the human body, although the concept was not yet fully developed. As we move forward in time, we come across the Upanishads, philosophical texts that expanded upon Vedic ideas. Written between 800 and 200 BCE, they introduced the concept of Nadis, or energy channels, which intersect at the chakras. This was a significant development in the understanding of chakras, marking a shift from mere mentions in the Vedas to a more systematic and detailed representation. Fast forward to the 7th century, and we encounter the emergence of a fully-fledged chakra system in Tantric traditions. Tantric texts like the Sat Kakra Nirupana and Padaka Pankaka describe seven main chakras, each associated with specific aspects of human life and consciousness. This depiction of the chakra system has been hugely influential and forms the basis of many contemporary interpretations. In the 20th century, chakras found their way into Western consciousness, primarily through the Theosophical Society, an organization dedicated to exploring and understanding spiritual wisdom from around the world. The society's interpretation of chakras although somewhat different from traditional Indian views, played a pivotal role in popularizing the concept in the West. Today the concept of chakras is recognized and explored in various spiritual traditions across the globe, including yoga, reiki, and various forms of meditation. Each tradition offers its unique perspective, adding layers of understanding to this ancient concept. Over time, these energy centers have been studied and interpreted in myriad ways, leading to our current understanding. As we delve deeper into the history of chakras, we discover a fascinating journey of spiritual exploration and understanding that continues to this day. In today's world, the chakras are seen as integral to our physical, mental and spiritual well-being. Just as the heart pumps blood, the chakras are believed to pump energy keeping our spiritual selves alive and vibrant. But how does this ancient concept fit into our modern lives? Chakras, these swirling wheels of energy, are not stuck in the past. Instead, they have evolved with our understanding of human consciousness and personal growth. Today, they are considered as energy centers, each one managing different aspects of our lives and our being. They are like invisible gears that keep the machinery of our lives running smoothly. The modern interpretation of chakras is not just about yoga or meditation, it's about understanding the complex interplay between our bodies, minds and spirits. It's about finding balance and harmony in our lives and using these energy centers as tools for personal transformation and self-understanding. From the base of our spine to the top of our head, each chakra governs a different area of our life and body. They are like the notes on a musical scale, each one contributing to the symphony of our existence. When they are in tune, we experience health and harmony. When they are out of balance, we may feel discord and disease. But these energy centers are not static. They are dynamic and evolving just like us. They respond to our thoughts, our feelings, our actions. They are affected by what we eat, what we think, how we move and how we interact with the world around us. 
they are in a way a reflection of our inner state of being. And so understanding our chakras is not just about learning an ancient philosophy, it's about learning ourselves, about tuning into our own unique energy and using it to navigate the ups and downs of life. It's about finding our inner compass, our own personal North Star, and using it to guide us on our journey. Now, let us delve deeper into each of these chakras and understand their unique significance. Starting from the base of the spine, we have the root chakra, known as Muladhara in Sanskrit, this chakra is symbolized by a vibrant red lotus with four petals. It's the foundation of our energy system, anchoring us to the earth, and it governs our basic needs for survival, security, and stability. When in balance, the root chakra brings feelings of groundedness, safety, and vitality. However, when blocked, it may lead to feelings of fear, anxiety, and restlessness. Moving slightly up, we encounter the sacral chakra, or Svadhisthana. Visualize this as a vivid orange lotus with six petals located in the lower abdomen just below the navel. The sacral chakra is the center of our creativity, sensuality, and emotional balance. It allows us to connect with others and experience life through feelings and sensations. When it's functioning optimally, we feel passionate, present in our body, sensual, creative, and connected to our emotion and the world around us. Conversely, when it's blocked or out of balance, it can lead to emotional instability, fear of change, sexual dysfunction, depression, or addictive behaviors. Next, sitting above the navel, we find the solar plexus chakra or Manipura, symbolized by a brilliant yellow lotus with 10 petals. This chakra is our personal power station, fueling our willpower, self-discipline, and the raw energy to achieve our ambitions. It's the driving force behind our personal and professional success. When in balance, the solar plexus chakra makes us feel confident, clear about our path, and capable of manifesting our desires. If blocked or unbalanced, it can lead to feelings of low self-worth, lack of control, and disappointment with life. These lower chakras are primarily connected with our physical existence and interactions. They lay the groundwork for the higher chakras, which deal with our spiritual connections and consciousness. But remember, balance is key. Too much or too little energy flow in any of these chakras can lead to physical, emotional and spiritual discord. In our next section, we will explore the remaining chakras, so stay with us as we continue this journey of discovery and balance. Moving upwards, we reach the heart of our energy system, the heart chakra. Nestled in the center of our chest, the heart chakra, or anahata, is the wellspring of love, warmth, compassion, and joy. This chakra is represented by the color green, symbolizing health and abundance. It's here that we connect with others, form relationships, and develop a sense of personal space. Next, we ascend to the throat chakra, or vishuddha. Situated in the throat region, this chakra is the voice of the body, a pressure valve that allows the energy from the other chakras to be expressed. It is depicted in a soothing shade of blue, the color of the spirit, truth, and communication. If it is balanced, we can express what we think with clarity and purpose. If it is blocked, the energy in our body is stifled and can lead to feeling misunderstood or unheard. Climbing further, we encounter the third eye chakra, or Ajna, located in the space between the eyebrows. This chakra is often seen as a mystical and esoteric concept, symbolizing enlightenment and the ability to see beyond our physical eyes. It's represented by the color indigo, a blend of deep blue and violet, which embodies the inner mind, intuition, and wisdom. When the third eye chakra is open, it is thought to enable clear thought, spiritual contemplation, and self-reflection. These chakras, the heart, throat, and third eye, form the upper triad of our seven energy centers. They are the gateways to higher consciousness and facilitate the flow of energy within us. By understanding and nurturing these chakras, we can achieve balance and harmony, not only within ourselves, but also in our interactions with the world around us. These chakras play a crucial role in our emotional and intellectual interactions. They are the bridges that connect our physical and spiritual selves, enabling us to live with authenticity, express our truths, and perceive beyond the tangible world. In our next scene, 
we will explore the final and highest of the seven chakras, the crown chakra, the spiritual connector to the universe. At the very top, we find the crown chakra, our gateway to the divine. This chakra residing at the crown of our head is the seventh and final chakra, representing our spiritual connection to the universe. It's the seat of divine awareness, enlightenment and our higher self. This chakra is the epitome of spiritual health and a balanced life. As we've journeyed through the history and understanding of chakras, we've discovered their profound influence on our everyday lives. From the grounding root chakra to the enlightening crown chakra, each energy center plays a crucial role in our well-being and life balance. In harmonizing these energy centers, we're not just improving our physical and emotional health, but also our spiritual well-being. It's a holistic approach that combines ancient wisdom with modern understanding. By understanding and balancing our chakras, we can achieve harmony in our lives, enabling us to navigate the modern world with ancient wisdom.